Welcome to our video series on advanced Dreamweaver features and techniques. In this video, we'll look at working with frame sets on your website. For working with framed pages in Dreamweaver, if we go to File New, and if we go to Page from Sample and Frame Set, and there's a number of ready-made options. There's Fixed Bottom. You can see it here. Fixed Bottom, Nested Left, Fixed Left, and OK, here's how they look. Fixed Horizontal, but let's try this. Fixed Top, Fixed Bottom. And then you can choose Dock Type as usual. So let's create. For each frame, specify a title. OK, top frame. We can just call it top frame. Main frame, you can call it main frame, or you can change that. Bottom frame, we can stick with calling it bottom frame. And of course, when working with frames, each frame is, well, you basically end up with four web pages. You have one page that's the actual frame information, and the three separate pages are the contents of the frame. Basically, if you aren't familiar with frame sets in HTML, a frame set is really a number of web pages displayed at the same time. And a frame keeps each page separate from each other. So let's just do a quick example. This is web page one. This is web page two. This is web page 3. If I were to file, save all, and OK, it's asking me to save all the files. So first of all, the frame set. So let's just call it frame set. Save, and OK, untitled frame. And interestingly, if you just move this out of the way, you can see that this frame is selected. So to be accurate then, let's call it web page 3. And save that, and on to the next one. This one's selected, so web page 2. Save that. And lastly, this one's selected, so web page 1. Save. So that's it. Dreamweaver does make this a lot easier, and you can even click, hold, and drag to change the size of the frames. And in the Properties area, you can change Properties. Borders, yes or no. Actually, let's click here, and Borders, yes. Click here, and Borders, yes. And Border Width of 2, let's say. Border color, let's say red. So remember, when working with frames, you have a frame set which defines the borders between the pages. And then for the number of different frames you have, you need a web page for each one of those. So let's save all. And let's take a look at these files. So here they are. Let's double click on Frame Set first of all. OK, there's the page. The red border didn't come through for some reason, so I'll have to look into that and play around with the settings, but that's how it looks. When you open up the Frame Set, you have dividers between three individual web pages, or as many web pages as you want for the frames you've customized. And you see, this is web page 1, this is web page 2, this is web page 3. If I resize these windows, let's move things over. OK, if I now take web page 1 and drag it into the browser, that's it. That's the entire web page. 
web page two. That's the entire web page. If I do view source, you can see how simple it is. There's the body of the document and just this bit of text, and that's it. And web page three is the same again, but with the number three. So, FrameSet brings multiple web pages together to display on screen at the same time with preset dividers. And you can specify whether it's a left column divider or however you want, and you can have borders for the dividers or have the dividers invisible and so on. Basically, what I wanted to demonstrate in this quick example is that Dreamweaver makes this entire process very easy and very customizable. As shown, you can easily change the frame set after you've started working with it. And I'll have to play around with different settings here just to see how the border settings, how the changes to the borders affect the web page when it's shown in the browser. Actually, what I've just done is open the frame set in Internet Explorer and it displays as it should with red dividing lines. For some reason, the red didn't show in Firefox. So that's something else to look into. I won't cover that in this example, but just something to consider. And as you can see here, web pages don't always display the same from one web browser to another. Okay, so really, File, New, Page from Sample, Frame Set, and Dreamweaver makes the entire process quite straightforward. And as you can see here, you get a preview of each. But really, if you're going to work with them at all, it's important to understand the concept of framed pages. How you have a frame set, which doesn't have any content, it just specifies where the dividers are and what they look like. And then you have, you can pick the number of frames in the frame set. For example, this frame set has two frames, and you need a separate web page for each. So really, web frame sets are used to present separate web pages together on the same page. And Dreamweaver makes the entire process quite straightforward.